up and welcome back to the vlog. It is currently 9.40 and my vlog is halfway exported. So yesterday I told you guys that 9.40 was when I uploaded the vlog before that and that was the latest, but this one is definitely going to be the latest. This will probably not get up until about quarter after 10, maybe even 10.30. So I'm really sorry about that guys, but if you did not see yesterday's vlog, I didn't go to bed until about two. And of course I could not get myself to wake up any earlier than like 8.30 this morning. Started editing the vlog, finally got it finished editing and now it is exporting and then I still have to upload it. So safe to say this is going to be the latest vlog and I was going back and forth whether I was going to go to Starbucks or not. I do have silk almond milk because I ran out of milk yesterday and I'm thinking, actually no, I ran out of milk the day before that. So I'm thinking I might just end up going to Starbucks like we've established. I just, I'm not going to argue with myself. I like Starbucks. I'm probably going to go get it. And then we'll come back here. I'm currently waiting on my paper to be shipped or like delivered as well as my mailers to be delivered. Today is a big supply day. I have an Amazon shipment coming, a mailer shipper shipment coming, and then a paper shipment coming. So, so you guys will be able to see kind of what happens on a supply shipment day. A lot of stuff comes into this house and it's very stressful and there's lots of boxes and just a lot of stuff to clean up, but it's okay. But um, yeah, so I just have to finish um, printing and cutting those things that I told you guys yesterday, finish packaging. Um, I could probably start stamping some of the orders that are finished now while I'm waiting for the paper. Um, but for now, I'm going to upload this vlog, go to Starbucks, come back here, and stamp. Let's do it. Would you like to say good morning to the vlog? You say, hello everybody. I just had some breakfast. <laughs> you were such a good girl and you got breakfast, didn't you? Yeah. Does that maybe mean that you can have your chewy? Chewy. <laughs> oh, oh. Where's your Chewy, huh? Is it downstairs? Yeah, it's down in the Playing Roses office. Okay guys, so I just finished stamping and my paper came perfect timing because like I said, I just finished stamping so I can finish the orders now. Also my Amazon order came and yeah, that's all the paper over there. That's a lot of paper, eh babes? So a little bit of an update. It is currently three o'clock right now and I just finished all of the orders. You guys saw me putting them in the post office box things. But as you guys can see, I do have some boxes to bring inside so I'm going to do that. Um, there is one thing in the boxes that I want to show you guys because with the place that I get my mailers, they have this free offer section so they have like different dollar amounts. It's like if you spend $300, pick from all of these things and you can get one of them for free or $500 or a thousand and the prizes get really good guys. One time I got, I got my dad's Christmas present last year doing this. So anyways, I got one thing that I'm going to show you guys. I'm a little bit out of breath because I just ran upstairs and then downstairs and then upstairs again and then downstairs. But I'm going to bring these in, show you guys that and then I'm off to the post office. Like I said, it's three o'clock. So should be able to get those there before 4.30, so they'll go out on Wednesday, which I'm really excited about.
Are you guys ready to see what I got? If you've been watching my vlogs for a long time, you will know how excited I am about this. And I'm surprised I don't have one of these by now. But it is a buffalo plaid flannel and I'm pretty sure these are meant for men. And this is a large, so it's going to be super oversized and I'm so excited about it. I actually want to try it on right now. Should we do it? I'm kind of hoping it's almost like a dress. So I can like maybe wear it with some high need booties. I think that'd be so cute, but I will try it on right now for you guys. Okay, so I have it on and it is really big. The sleeves are really big, that's the only problem. But it's a different, um, whatever this is called, material than I thought it would be. It's like fleece and it's super warm. It's definitely not, I don't think long enough to be a dress, maybe. Maybe, possibly, but, oh, it's so cold. I'm so excited to wear this in the winter around Christmas time. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna go take these to the post office and then I will see you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, what is up? I am now back from the post office. I also went to the grocery store, so I'm gonna show you guys quickly what I got. Like I told you, I think it was this morning that I didn't have any milk for my coffee, so that's why I went to Starbucks. So I got some milk, got some avocados, got some coffee, the typical things I live off of. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys that. And then I also went to Subway because I got all of the October mystery kits out. So I was like, you know what? The last two days, two days guys, I've gone without buying dinner out. So I decided to treat myself for those two reasons with some Subway. And I actually didn't get, normally I get the steak and cheese, but I feel like that's really bad for you. So I got the Black Forest ham and cheese, which is probably still as bad for you, but I figured it's more of like a cold sub rather than like a toasted one. So anyways, I'll show you guys what I got from the grocery store, which I got a few different things. Um, the first thing I got, I got some mozzarella cheese slices because I've had um, sloppy Joe mix in my pantry for a very long time and I keep on looking at it and I'm like, mm. I need to make me some sloppy joes. So I'm going to be making those sometime this week, maybe Friday. So that's why I also got some buns to make my sloppy joes. I have um, ground turkey, which I've never actually made sloppy joes. Normally it's made with ground beef. So I'm going to make it with ground turkey, see how that tastes. So I have had that in my freezer for a while as well. I also got avocados. Normally I get them like individual and they're like hot starts with an H avocados, but they didn't have those at the grocery store. So I had to get like a big thing of them. And I feel like these ones are smaller and are never as good, but they're still avocados. So it's all good. And then I also got milk. Like I told you guys, I get 1% milk, which I've always gotten 1% milk. Question of the vlog, what percent milk do you guys drink? Do you drink milk? Let me know. And then I also got these. I thought these were cute. I was gonna get like the larger size of this, which is the Sabra hummus, just the classic hummus, but I decided to get these because they're super cute little like individual hummus things. So figured that'd probably be better for me. And then to go along with those little individual hummuses, I got these guys, which are little non-dippers, traditional non-dippers. And usually that's what I have with my hummus. So we have those. I also have like, baby carrots in my fridge that I could use with the hummus. And then, no surprise, I also got my brioche buns, which a few people have asked where I get these, and they've always been available at all of the grocery stores that I've gone to. Um, Sobeys, I've seen them there. Zares is where I went this time and got them. Um, I don't think I've seen them at No Frills, or I don't even know of any like other grocery stores <laughs> other than those three, so. Anyways, also Food Basics. I don't know if you guys have all these in like the US and internationally, but those are the grocery stores in Canada that I normally go to. And then I'm running out of coffee. So I decided to get two. This isn't really coffee. This is chai lattes. And I had a chai latte the other night cause I had like a Keurig K cup of it for a while. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna have a chai latte. And honestly, it just tasted like fall in a cup or even like almost going towards winter and like Christmas and stuff. So I got chai lattes, which mm, mm, mm. And then I decided 
since I'm always going to Starbucks, why don't I try some Starbucks K-Cups? So, these are the Starbucks caramel flavored coffee K-Cups. Also, some people have told me that they have cinnamon dolce latte K-Cups, but I don't think I can get them in Canada. Um, I looked on Amazon, they have them on Amazon, but the like box like this of 24 is $99.99. And that's like actually sold by Keurig on Amazon, which is ridiculous. So probably not gonna get those, but that is all of the groceries. And then I also picked up, this was at the grocery store, guys. Um, this grocery store that I go to, that I've recently been going to, has like the coolest stuff. It's a Zayers that's attached to a Joe Fresh. So they have like the home stuff, they have clothing, they have books. So I picked up the newest um, Rupi or Rupai Kerr book. But this is the same author that did Milk and Honey and then just recently came out with The Sun and Her Flowers, and it's pretty much the same type of book where it's just like a bunch of poems and quotes and sayings and stuff, and when I am feeling bored or just wanting to be inspired or I'm down and I want to be brought back up or just anything like that, I take out these books and I read some of the poems in them. So I'm gonna try to find Hmm, a pretty short one. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, so I found one, it is, I do not need the kind of love that is draining. I want someone who energizes me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My, my last relationship was very draining. And I think because that was my only like relationship relationship, I always just think of love as draining and I think that's why I'm so apprehensive about, I think that's the right word. I'm so bad with big words, but <laughs> I'm very apprehensive about love and giving myself because I just have this preconceived idea of love being draining. And that just got real, 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 real quick. Real, real, real quick, it did. Also, this hair, is really annoying me and anyways I'm gonna stop reading that book I literally sat here and like read this <laughs> vlog clip is 10 minutes almost 11 minutes because I've just been sitting here looking through all of those poems but um, I also got two gift cards for birthdays and stuff so anyways I'm gonna put this stuff away I'm going to eat my sub and then I am going to start designing for the night because I really want to get one of the collections done today and then I'll have tomorrow to finish another collection and possibly print them tomorrow because I want to spend a lot of Friday getting all of like the pictures and the listings done because I won't be able to do that on Saturday so we're gonna do this and I will probably see you guys a little bit later or I will yeah probably just later this hair oh my god I need a candle what candle is this? Are you, oh yeah. You're mahogany teakwood. Yes, girl. We're using you. up it is quite a bit later I got out of the bath and I've been just sitting in my bed I've read all the comments and thank you guys so much for commenting and I just have so much fun like ending my day by reading all the comments and also answering some of your questions I think it's so much fun and I am so happy that I like decided to do this like pretty early in the vlogs so I will definitely be doing this as well in vlogmas which I'm so excited about but anyways, I am all cozy up. Like I told you guys, I'm wearing this, which is so friggin' cozy and warm, and I love it. But if you can hear something, Penny again is chewing on her chewy beside me. So she is so funny. She sat at the door because I closed the door. Funny thing. Also, let me know down below if you guys do this. But I close my door whenever I sleep at night. I don't know why. I just feel like... If I close my door and anyone comes in, 
I'll be able to hear them come in. But if I have my door open, like, I wouldn't be able to hear. Does that make any sense? I'm so, like, I don't even know. I'm so crazy. But anyways, I'm going to answer some of your questions right now. It is almost 1 o'clock in the morning, so I am going to... <laughs> What are you doing? Why are you eating your ear? She loves chewing on her ear for some reason. Anyways, so quick shout out to Jennifer Brown. She was the first one to comment. She said, first, I have been refreshing all morning. And yeah, I'm sorry about that. But um, hopefully this vlog will be up a little bit earlier than yesterday's. Um, and then a few other ladies actually replied to her comment. Um, O'Donna Dean, she said, you beat me to it. She said, sorry, um, or how about we both were first. So, yeah, you guys were both first. And then Al Abigail said, I'll be second if you guys are both first. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, but the first question is actually a really good one, and it is from Kimberly, and she said, good morning. Penny, why are you kicking my arm? I am trying to hold the vlog camera, bro. Don't look at me like that. Kimberly, she said, good morning. I remember when you first started driving, you had some anxiety about it. How is driving for you now? You seem a lot more comfortable. Love your vlog so much and thank you. So glad you love them. But I am a lot more comfortable with driving and recently I've been driving more on highways and I'm like completely comfortable. To be honest, when I first started driving, um, I had my G2 and stuff. I was really scared of driving and like whenever I had to go onto the highways and stuff just I told you guys in vlogs before that I'd like get to my destination after being on the highway and just my heart would be beating and I'd be really really nervous and like my hands would be all clammy but that doesn't happen anymore and it's really nice um, because I do get a lot of practice because I do have to go on a highway to get to the post office that I go to I have to go on the highway to get to my dance studio to my parents house all of these places I have to take a highway. I also have to take a highway to go to the gym as well. So there's just a lot of opportunities for me to get on the highway and get more comfortable with it. So because I've been going on it so much, it's just been really, really nice. So thank you for asking. Um, and yeah, I've been a lot more comfortable with driving and I'm really, really happy about it. And obviously I'm not getting too comfortable because I know that just so many things can happen. I'm always looking around at what other cars are doing and like, let me just tell you, there are so many people on the road that should not be driving. Like, just crazy things I see, and I'm like, how did you get your license? Because, like, people are just, like, speeding and, like, weaving, and I'm like, oh my god, like, why? Like, where are the police? Because you cannot be doing that. But anyways, that's another tangent that I can go on. Like, just, whew. Anyways. Next question is, this is from Kaylee Vineyard, and she asked, wondering, how do you budget your money for your personal life and your business? You seem like you are on your game. And pretty much what I do is I get paid by Etsy once a week, and then I get paid by YouTube once a month. Most of the time, YouTube stuff um, is kind of just extra money or money to put towards YouTube things. So if I need, like, um, I just recently got a new mic for my camera. I also got a new lens, um, things for my background of my videos, um, supplies for videos, sometimes like makeup, obviously, if I'm wanting to do like a makeup review or something like that. But that money is usually just extra on the side, which is really, really nice. Um, but for Etsy, I get paid once a week. And what I do is I put 50% into a savings account. Savings is really, really important for me because I really want to obviously have money saved for the future and for things in my future. So 50% goes into my savings and then I split um, 25 and 25% for my business account and my personal account. So with my personal account, that is the money. I'm sorry, the lighting was probably weird. But personal account um, money, that's like for my bills and that sort of thing and personal things obviously and then any extra money that I have left over I can use for buying food out and going shopping and you know entertainment and stuff so also with my business account that is how I purchase like supplies and stuff so I'd really say that divvying up your money is really really important when it comes to 
your budgeting and that sort of thing, just really making sure you know how much you can spend on yourself and how much you should be saving for your business and savings and stuff like that. So yeah, that is how I budget. Okay, and the last two questions are regarding Miss Penny, which she is shaking my camera right now and trying to get into the vlog. You can't be, okay, I guess you can be in this part because it's about you. Okay. So the last two questions, my lamp back there is making the lighting really weird. But the last two questions, the first one is from Harvest Moon Creations, which I loved the Harvest Moon game. Does anyone else know what game I'm talking about? Also Animal Crossing. I literally almost, I'm going off on a whole tangent about this because I literally almost bought an old fashioned GameCube and Animal Crossing the other day because I used to love Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon. They were like the best games ever. But anyways, Harvest Moon Creations said, I love how you interact with Penny. Yes, are you Penny? Um, she said, what made you decide to get a dog? And I have grown up never having an animal. My two older sisters, they always had like my sister Jessica, which she's the one that works for Planting Roses, she had like three different rabbits. And my sister Alicia, which is the older sister, she has had hamsters and guinea pigs. But then my brother and I, we're the youngest two. We just never had any animals and we've never had a dog. We've never had a cat. And just I've always, always loved dogs. And I told myself at the young age of probably like eight or nine, I was like, I am going to purchase a dog and have a dog the moment I move out. So you guys knew that I moved out or if you guys didn't, I moved out um, in August of 2016. Yes, it was August of 2016. I moved out of my parents' house and then in November I got Miss Penny. So literally like three to four months after I moved out, I was like, dog, you're here you're here to stay. So that is when I decided I wanted to get a dog and it is the honestly the best decision I've ever made. And then the last question is from Brit Plans and she said Penny is seriously the cutest little peanut I've ever seen in my entire life. And look at her. You're so cute. That stank eye though. Okay. Um, and she said um is she a Maltese or something? And yes she is half Maltese, half Yorkie. So I believe her dad was a Maltese and her mom was a Yorkie. What are you doing, dog? And she just has the funniest personality. And like, honestly, I can't explain to you guys like this dog, cause she's just so funny. But anyways, thank you guys for asking about Penny. Cause I just love talk. I love talking about you. I love talking about you. Yeah, I do. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I love you so, so much. Thank you for commenting. Be sure to be subscribed if you have not already. Just hit that subscribe button down there. Also, if you want me to answer your question, be sure to comment a question down in the comment section. I love you guys so much. Penny loves you too. She also loves my hand and chewing on my hand. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. That is tomorrow. Bye, guys. You say bye-bye, Penny. Are you going to go sleep now? Okay, good night. In the morning when I wake And the sun is coming Oh, you feel my lungs are sweet now